I attract you, you attract me. For the taxes. What does taxes mean? Taxes, taxism or tactism is the realization of a movement or a directed displacement of a living being or part of it as a response to the perception of a stimulus or a gradient in the intensity of that stimulus. In our everyday life, different taxes or tactism can usually be observed. Examples of those are Firstly, the gravity axes present in ladybirds, which tend to rise to the higher parts of the surface where they are perched, looking for the best place to take off, which means that negative gravity axis is here present, for they move against gravity. Another one is the hydrotactism of the worms. In this type of taxis, displacement takes place according to the availability of water, since worms move looking for the humidity of the ground, burying to the wettest place. Another final example would be technotasia, to which all of us are subject to, because it is understood as the answer of the living beings caused by the use of modern technology. However, regarding our project, the focus is on another type of taxis, more common than you think, since we see it every day, or rather every night, in our cities. Photo taxis. The most common thing would be to believe that photo taxis is a photo of taxis, but it is not, and that would be a big mistake. Phototaxis or phototropism actually is an ability that lots of cells have. They are driven towards the stimulus of light. When the organism approaches the source of the stimulus, it is said that positive taxism takes place. But if the organism moves away from the stimulus, it is referred to as negative taxism. For instance, the cockroach can be taken as an example of negative stimulus. It is driven away from the light, always looking for the darkest areas. An example of positive taxism is the nocturnal butterfly which is attracted to the stars in the sky, especially to the full moon. Nowadays, as a result of the street lights in our towns and cities, the butterflies are attracted by the light casted by their bulbs and resulted in their disorientation or death because of the heat. In our school, we use the phototaxis or positive phototropism as a way of facilitating the concentration and then the harvest of various aquatic organisms, most commonly during the larval stages of crustaceans, which would be part of the plankton in their natural environment. This same technique is used by fishermen to facilitate night fishing, for which powerful lights are used to attract the plankton. Afterwards, this plankton attracts other kinds of fish, which come to eat it, usually pelagic fish such as anchovies. This way, more fish can be fished by using fishing nets. Now, different projects carried out in our centre are shown. Firstly, we can see how green crop larvae are attracted to light. Secondly, we can see how adult specimens and feeding of copepod are attracted to light. Thirdly, we can see how Adult specimens of Artemia 
are attracted to light. Now we proceed to describe the process of attaining living nauply of a Tamian Franciscana by means of different photos. First, we prepare the incubator for the eggs of Artemia. The incubator is an opaque container which is conic and which has a lid. Also a translucent tube and a drain valve. Second, we fill it up with water and introduce the rod which provides aeration required to keep the eggs in suspension. Artemia eggs and the heater, since we have to maintain the temperature to 28 degrees for 24 hours. Third, after 24 hours, we remove the air pipe and cover it with the opaque top for the nauplia to go down the translucent tube located in the drain area to facilitate the harvest. 4. We wait for the nauplia to concentrate together by using two filters. At the top we use a 232 microns one and at the bottom another one of 132 microns. Afterwards we open the valve for the con of the container little by little in such a way as to allow the water to go through the filters. This way the nauplia go through the first top filter and they stay in the second one. In the case they can't go through the first filter, we can use water to force them to go through it. Fifth. This process will be repeated several times until we observe that there, are, there isn't any movement of nauplia in the translucent tube and with extreme caution we carefully empty the translucent tube and then we will be able to observe the shells of the eggs in it. And finally the remaining parts of the eggs will be thrown away and the now place will be placed into a bucket. In it, we can see that these now place are orange, just like carrots, for they contain better carotene. These are kept in the buckets to enrich them with microalgae or to feed other fish or crustacean larvae with them. This is an example of how we can use the taxis as it is the positive phototropism to facilitate the harvest of live food and the elimination of organic wastes that aren't useful for our larvae. Particular thanks for their invaluable assistance and collaboration in preparing this project to our fellows and partners of the Maritimo Zaporito Integrated Centre.